made some scones with jam on but we cut it in small pieces for the lady and my words were is we'll have a nice cup of coffee to wash it down. As I walked into the room with the cup of coffee I noticed Tracy had her fingers in her mouth which sometimes she does when she's eating but then I realised that she was choking. So once I laid Tracy on the floor in the, in the position laid down I found the centre of her chest and I just start doing the chest compressions as this time I was talking to Tracy to try and pull round please don't leave us which it is upsetting and it was scary and I just don't know how I done it but just I was getting to the last few of the chest compressions the ambulance pulled up and as that just Tracy started breathing which to be honest I think there was a garden Indian that day I just somebody was watching over us and helping to bring her back. When we realised after speaking to the paramedics as well what Leanne had done for Tracy, um, we were very overwhelmed really. Um, myself and Lisa were very shocked but very proud of what she'd done and um, very, very proud of the situation and how she'd taken control of that. And for me, courage is being able to stand up and do something that does put you out of your comfort zone um, maybe pushes your instincts a little bit further than usual and Leanne definitely done that on that day. Um, the ambulance stayed with us for an hour and then once Tracy was fine come round the first word she was asking was for a party and I was thinking to myself party you've just the, the feeling we've just done we can't believe one minute we thought we we're going to lose you when you go on these training courses, you think, oh, another training course, another boring day. You, you don't realise that you do these training courses that you'd ever use it one day. And now when I look back, obviously, if I didn't do that training course, I wouldn't have been able to do what I did that day with Tracy and save her life. Mm -hmm.